Welcome to the Inner and Outer Planets. As we travel from the Sun, we know that there are eight planets that orbit or revolve around the Sun. We are going to look at the characteristics of the two groups of planets. The first four, which are the inner planets, and the second four, which are the outer planets. So we know that a solar system is made up of a star and the planets and other space objects that revolve around it. In our solar system, our star is the sun. And a planet is a large round body that revolves around a star. All eight planets in our solar system revolve around our star, the sun. Watch out though, because lots of our images include Pluto too. We're not including Pluto as one of our main planets. Pluto is considered a dwarf planet, and we will be discussing that another time. As we look at our inner and outer planets, we're gonna be thinking about the characteristics of each group, like what their distance from the sun is, their revolution time, which is also tied onto how far they are from the sun, their overall size, what they're made of, whether they have rings and moons, and the type of temperatures they experience. Let's learn about these inner and outer planets. We are gonna go ahead and see now our characteristics of inner planets and outer planets. So I have all of these planets and the sun on these paper clips. So we're gonna put them there. And there's my first four. We call those first four the inner planets. These first four planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The inner planets are actually the first four planets. They are closest to the sun. Since these planets are so close to the sun, they have a shorter revolution time than the outer planets. That means they can go around the sun faster than the planets farther from the sun. Between our inner and outer planets is an asteroid belt. Asteroids are rock and iron objects that orbit the sun and millions of them are found between Mars and Jupiter. And we call that the asteroid belts. Let's go ahead and add our four outer planets. That would be Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. We call those the outer planets. They're the outer planets because they are farthest from the sun. Remember, the inner planets are closest to the sun. The outer planets are farthest from the sun. Because they are so far, it takes them a longer time to go around the sun, so they have a long revolution time compared to the inner planets. Some information about the inner and outer planets aren't obvious just by looking at the planets. So we use charts like this that scientists have been able to find this information. And I love this chart. It has all of the inner planets, all of the outer planets on it, we are able to see each planet's period of revolution, which means it's time to go around the sun, and these are all listed in Earth days and years. We can see how long it takes for them to spin on their axis or their period of rotation, their temperature ranges, number of moons, their density, and their diameter, or how big they are across. I'm gonna use some of the information from this chart to keep making our poster on how the inner and outer planets are different. All right, I want you to look at the size of the inner planets and the size of the outer planets. We can say that the inner planets are much smaller in size than the outer planets. The outer planets are much larger. In fact, they are huge. On our chart, it measures the diameter of the planet. So when we talk about their size, we're looking at their diameters or how big across each planet is. All of the inner planets have solid surfaces too. They are rocky. Whereas those outer planets, we call them the gas giants. They are gaseous and they don't have those solid surfaces. 
The inner planets have few moons. Like on Earth, we have one moon. Actually, Mercury and Venus don't even have a moon, and Mars has two. But the outer planets, all of them, have moons, many moons, and ring systems. So when we say that the outer planets are gas giants, they have no solid surfaces, and because they're so far from the sun, they're very cold. So they have much colder surfaces than the inner planets. All right, there is that final chart there. So the inner planets are closest to the sun and the outer planets are farthest. Inner planets have a shorter revolution time than the outer planets. Inner planets are smaller, while the outer planets are much larger. They are what we call the gas giants, while the inner planets have those solid rocky surfaces. Inner planets have few moons, while the outer planets all have many moons and ring systems. And those outer planets are just so much colder than the inner planets because they're farthest away from the sun. All of these characteristics of inner and outer planets are based on science. They're based on facts. We have evidence that scientists have provided. We use that scientific data when determining the differences between inner and outer planets. Now when you see the inner and outer planets, I want you to think of the characteristics of those two groups. There's so much more to them than just being planets. I hope you have a better understanding of our inner and outer planets now. That's all for me. Take care. Peace.